One of the biggest frustrations I think companies have with their data is they don't know how to get any answers out of them. I've got all this data and it's not speaking to each other and I got a question, but it's not talking to me. What do I do? Right. Because data doesn't come ready to use. And so that's why it is so important that there be a process where you what is the question you're asking? All right. What data sets do you have at your disposal that would be useful for that? What's the best technique to sort of get to the data? What is the preliminary data showing us? All right. Now that we're into the data, what else do we need? You know, you've got to be organized and systematic about it. But the focus on asking the right question will always lead to the best answer. You don't focus on the question up front. You know, I don't want you to just sort of start. I mean, the number of clients I also have are like, okay, well, we're just going to send you all our data tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know, stop. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> um, let's talk about what you want to accomplish. Let's yeah. talk about the kind of data you have. And, you know, sometimes that requires patience. You know, you've got to kind of educate clients about that. But that's a big part, I think, of what a good data person does is they're there to assess, think through carefully, and make sure we understand what the data is going to show us. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from the Data Talk podcast. To watch the full episode, you can either go to the Experian blog. The URL is experian.com slash datatalk, or you can click on the link, which is found in the description of this video.